Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Features the Oakland Athletics versus the Seattle Pilots at Six Stadium. On the mound for the Athletics today is Chuck Dobson, whose record is 2-1 with a 155 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots today is Jim Mudcat Grant whose record is 1-1 one one with a 6.30 ERA. And so we've lost our third in a row. I think it's safe to say that the shutout issue may very well uh, be done and gone. I mean, we haven't had a shutout uh, in the last <laughs> couple of games. And I feel like we've moved on from that. I, I don't know if it's the computer AI. I don't know if it's um, something uh, that I'm doing uh, as uh, you know, controlling the management of the team. But I just get the impression that the, uh, the shutout issue that we had there for about uh, seven to 10 days is maybe uh, behind us now. So uh, I'm not gonna worry about whether or not we get a shutout, but I am going to worry about what's happening to our team offensively. Where it says our team batting average is now at 239, which is, uh, I mean, pretty horrible for any team. And our ERA is now uh, ballooned over four. And that's with throwing six shutouts in there, or five shutouts, I guess. So um, we are definitely having some struggles as of lately. Um, and our, you know, our run differential, we're plus 10. Uh, you know, I, I actually, let's, let's, do this too. I think this is appropriate for us to take a look here. Um, if you take a look at our everyday lineup, we're going to face a righty today. If you take a look here at our overall batting average and our overall on base percentage, we've really only got two players who are performing um, like above standard. And that is uh, Tommy Harper and Tommy Agee. Jerry McNertney, yes, he's had a few home runs. He is driving in some runs for us. Um, but I don't... And Rich Rollins uh, has been a nice surprise at third base. So, you know, he's probably average. Uh, but everybody else we have on this team, whether they're um, a platoon hitter or whether they're just someone we've stuck at the bottom of our lineup, I mean, none of these guys... I don't, you know, I think we can count on. So, like, it, it, this is where things, I think, become a real slog for us. I, I want to get through this month. I'd like to get through it at 500 and kind of see where we stand or maybe even get as far as the, um, the draft in June um, and see where we stand then. Looking at our pitching staff, everybody's gotten blown up lately. I mean, we, the only pitcher who's doing anything good for us right now is yesterday's starter, Gene Brabender, who almost had that no-hitter two starts ago and then just gave up a couple of runs yesterday. Uh, otherwise, no one else is uh, someone we could rely on, um, especially from our starting rotation. And Steve Barber comes back in 16 days, so maybe that'll add a boost. But I do think we're going to be, you know, Gripping onto the bench and holding on for dear life um, for the rest of the season. So, anyway, you know what? Let's get started with today's game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Shout out to whomever it is that is watching my 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. It must be a new subscriber because... This person started at opening day, and as of game time today, they have 75 games of that season in a row, and I, maybe they've even watched some of the um, sports card openings I've had in there. So that's some real, like, <laughs> out-of-the-gate dedication. I don't know if you're watching this series at all, but I appreciate um, uh, the time you're dedicating to... Um, this content and, and I appreciate everyone who, who gives a moment of time to watching this goofy uh, stuff that I do here uh, but I just wanted to give a shout out to that person so 
Uh, Mudcat Grant, he is starting today, his second start for us. He um, has only one strikeout in 10 innings pit. Not great. Okay. And then here is our lineup versus Chuck Dobson. He's a right-hander. And you just saw this lineup. It's the same uh, as yesterday's, I believe. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Oakland A's. Same as yesterday, in fact. Batting leadoff in center field is Rick Monday. Batting second and catching is Gene Tennis. Batting third and left field is Tommy Reynolds. Batting cleanup in right field is Reggie. Batting fifth at third base is Sal Bando. Batting sixth at first base is Danny Cater. Batting seventh at second base is John Donaldson. Batting eighth at shortstop is Bert Campanaris. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Chuck Dobbs. Okay, let's take a quick look at Mudcat Grant. Oh, I apologize. This is his third start. He's out 1-1 one one with a 6.30 ERA. That <laughs> lone strikeout in 10 innings. Uh, he's given up 12 hits and 3 walks. Uh, and opponents are betting 3.24 against him. His fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. That's the only good pitch he really has. It's rated an 83. He's got a slider and a curve below average. Overall rated a 78. The 33-year-old righty goes to free agency at the end of the season. And I kind of feel like he's just holding the spot for when Steve Barber comes back. Uh, if, if you can't get strikeouts, you probably shouldn't be pitching. There's the defense for today's game. Pretty solid all around the infield. we got Fred Stanley there at shortstop. Uh, and, of course, Harper out there in right Rated a 65. Okay. Here is Rick Monday. We got a case of the Mondays. Leading off and striking out. There we go. My cat Grant starts off the ball game with a K. How much you want to bet he comes back and walks Gene Tennis? No first pitch. Oh, he drills him in the hip. Well, one way or another, he was going to get to first base. I think that was a guarantee. Tommy Reynolds, pretty good contact. They could be hitting and running here. 0 1 count. A pop up on the infield. Fred Stanley making the catch for out number two. Here comes Reggie. Reggie, strangely, still looking for his first home run of the season. Full count. And he strikes him out. Grant strikes out two batters in the first. We go to the bottom half. Here is the Pilots lineup rundown for today's game. Batting leadoff in right field is Tommy Harper. Batting second at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting third in left field is Tommy Agee. Batting cleanup and catching is Jerry McNerty. Batting fifth at first base is Mike Hegan. Batting sixth in center field is Steve Hovley. Batting 7th at 2nd base is Van Kelly. Batting 8th at shortstop is Fred Stanley. And batting ninth and pitching today is Mudcat. Let's take a look at Chuck G. Dobson. Making his 5th start of the year. 2-1 with a 155 ERA. 18 strikeouts in 29 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 180 against him. He does have a complete game shutout. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. He is a fly ball pitcher. What is that? 65 of the time. He's got four pitches in his arsenal. The fastball is his best. It's rated an 85. He's got a slider and a curve. Uh, both below average. Overall rated a 78. The 25-year-old righty goes to arbitration at the end of this year. Okay, there's the defense for... The A's, wait, is this the same as yesterday? Yeah, it is the same as yesterday. Okay, so there you go. Pretty solid. In the plate, we did steal three bases against him yesterday, so maybe we will be running if we get a chance today. Here's Tommy Harper leading off. 3-1 count. That pitch looked inside, but took a cut at it anyway. And he pops out into shallow center field. That would have been ball four. One out. 
Next man up is Rich Rollins. Rollins strikes a sheet to the second baseman. Donaldson for out number two. And that'll leave it up to Tommy Agee to get something going here. And Agee hits a looper into right. And the ball is caught by the right fielder, Red J. Jackson. We go to the top of the second inning. No score. Off. Bando, 0-2 count. Makes contact, a second and an error by Van Kelly. A throwing error that allows Bando to reach second base. So a hit batter and an error already. Here's Danny. And a base hit, so that'll make it one to nothing. First hit of the game. Here's the lefty, John Donaldson. Runner on first. A line drive to center. One out. Next man up is Bert Campanaris. 2-0 count. Ground ball to first. We can turn two. Uh, we only get the force at second. Can't be great speed. So he beats out the relay throw. That will bring up Chuck Dobson, the pitcher. He's one for eight on the season. Bet in one twenty. Oh, he's betting one twenty-five now. So I just noticed as he lines it to right that the nineteen sixty-nine stats are up here in the box. So now we can tell how they are batting versus uh, the righty or lefty pitcher. So that is helpful. Let's take a uh, go to the bottom of the second inning here as the A's got on the board on the error by Kelly. We got McNerty leading off, followed by Hegan and Hovley. McNerty batting 257 versus righties, and he strikes out for out number one. Talk about a guy who strikes out. Mike Keegan struck out 24 times already. Makes contact here. Ground ball to short. Out number two. Steve Hovley's up next. Batting 207 versus righties, and he strikes out swinging. So another 1 2 3 inning. We go to the top of the third. We're back to the top of the lineup with Rick Monday. 0 for 1 with a strikeout. And he rips this one right at Hegan. Nice snag. That's why we have him in the ballgame. He may not be able to bat uh, 250, but he can play pretty good defense. And that might be all we have in the end. <laughs> another error by Van Kelly. Another two-base error to Gene Tennis this time. Oh, man. This game already has pissed me off. Runner on second. There's a pop-up on the infield. And, I, you know, I've, um, I've said many times already this season that we're playing... But I like the fact that there are less options. That we've taken away the outfield in uh, scenario. Um, you can't pull the infield in, you know, right now or you know anytime you like, like you used to before. And I do like that because those are not realistic strategies in most certain situations. But like. I, you know, like, a, it feels like we have less options, though. Like, there's, like, two less things for me to decide on when I didn't really choose any of the other ones anyway. As Reggie gets a two-run home run, there's his number uh, one home, first home run of the year. So, there you go, Reggie's first. Coming off a 29 home run season. Three to nothing. All these runs are unearned. So, we're lowering our team ERA, but we're still losing. And, um, and Mudcat grants six, 630 ERAs, still going down with every out he gets. So, I mean, this is kind of how the game balances out the stats. Yes, we're going to get crushed today, but Mudcat Grant will probably only give up one or two actual runs and still lower his ERA. 
Ground ball to second from Bando, and that's out number three. We go to the bottom of the third. Van Kelly leading off. He's already cost us a couple runs. All, all three runs, actually, today were um, attributed to Van Kelly's poor defensive play. A comebacker to Dobson, who fields it cleanly, tosses him out. One down. Fred Stanley strikes out, and it's Mudcat Grant. That's three Ks for Dobson, and there's four. So we are no hit through three. We go to the top of the fourth. Here's Danny Cater leading off. He drove in the first run after Bando was safe on the Kelly error. Here he pops it up to third, foul ground. One down. It's going to bring up John Donaldson. I wonder who that is in the background there. In that picture. And another error. As Donaldson reaches on an error by our third baseman, Rollins. We've got more errors than they have hits, and we're down three runs, by the way. Here's Bert. And the base hit. Donaldson goes to third. Pull the infield in now, for sure. With the pitcher up. 2-1 count. He's going to lay down a butt. A comebacker to Grant. And the run scores. Campy advances. It's 4 Nothing. Again, all unearned runs. And if Monday comes through, it will also be unearned. There's a ground ball to third. Maybe he'll make it. Maybe he won't. Out number three. So we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Four nothing. We are just riding along in this game. As Dobson gets his fifth K, this time of Harper. Here's Rich Rall. A blooper to right center field. It will be caught by Reggie. Just for a second, I thought we might have our first hit. And a comebacker. The no-hitter continues. Oh, actually, I think it's a perfect game, right? Because I, I don't think Dobson has walked anybody. Nor have the A's committed an error. Gene Tennis leading off the top of the fifth. Box score is going to look good for Mudcat Grant at this point. He hasn't given up an earned run. Fly ball to left. Technically only given up three hits in almost five innings. He had the one hit by pitch, but no walks. Here's Reggie. Smoked it earlier. Ground ball to short here. And a good job by... Mudcat. The, I mean, could it be any better than 50 pitches in four innings, five Ks? And Mick Nert knees up. Hanging on to 300. There we go. There's our first hit. Falls in for a single. Put your rally caps on. Or it would be like a pilot hat. It would be like one of those uh, beanies. With the uh, propeller on the top. That's our rally cap. Okay. McNertney on first. Here's Mike Keegan. This is a double play waiting to happen. Yep. Oh, it's a ground ball that gets past a third baseman. And it's a double for Keegan as McNertney hustling into third. That's some aggressive base running. Fourth double for Mike Keegan. He's played every game, right? I, I don't... Yeah, we have not had a different first baseman other than Don Mincher. Okay, so it is now second and third, nobody out. And Steve Hovley's up. Now, he is only batting 176 overall, but he has been pretty clutch. Ground ball to third, that is unclutch. Everybody has to hold. All the places he couldn't hit it, that was the worst. Van Kelly walks to load the bases for Fred Stanley. Now that's, well, there's five pitches there, and one was in the strike zone, but I can't 
I can't say that they probably... Well, they might have pitched around to get to Stanley. We'll see here. It's Fred Stanley batting 220, 213, I should say. Base is loaded. And he pops it up to get to the pitcher, of course. We have to pinch hit for Mudcat Grant. We have a chance of tying it up with one swing of the bat. So if the game is baiting me by loading the bases and getting a pop-up to pinch hit, it's working. We're going to bring in Steve Whitaker. Whitaker has not been great. He's betting 105, but he does have a three-run home run. That was a pinch hit home run. So 2-2, two -two, and he strikes out. Can bring in another pitcher. The pitcher will be... Oh, man. We keep running Jerry Stevenson out there. He's thrown 13 innings all in relief. But what are we going to do? Jerry Stevenson into the ballgame. Here's Sal Bando. Ground ball, base hit into left field. Only the fourth hit for the A's today. Runner on first. Danny Cater up, and he's going to walk him. I mean, there's, like, all I'm doing is pushing buttons. There's really nothing I can do here. There's no double play depth or... I mean, there's nothing we can do other than just push a button. And another hit. 5-0. I guess I spoke too soon about the shutout. Another hit. Dobson pops up. Six to nothing. One down. Runner on first and second. Rick Monday strikes out. And a ground ball to second. Van Kelly makes the play. Tack on two more. So if we were 10 runs uh, in the positive, now we're at plus four on the season. I don't know what that means. but Infield single by Tommy Harper. Now that seems like something that's changed. Uh, in the updated version here. I don't... I mean, you could get three infield signals in an inning um, before. Now, at, you know, you might get one every couple of games, which is all right. That seems a little bit more realistic. Rich Rollins dumps it into left center field. Harper will go to third. It is first and third. Nobody out. Here's Tommy Agee. Much like Reggie, he was looking for his first home run of the season. Full count. Loops it to right. Will it be deep enough to get Harper in? It is. 80%. He is safe at home. And the Pilots get on the board. 6-1 to one now. And McNerty strikes out. And Hegan strikes out. Oh, no. It was 1-2 count. With Hegan, that's like a gimme. Fly ball to left. We go to the top of the seventh. We're going to run Stevenson back out there because... Reynolds, ground ball to short. Red Jay walks. Bando, strike out. And Danny Cater, fly ball to center. Moving on to the bottom of the seventh inning. Here is Steve Hovley. 0 for 2 today with a strikeout. So I'm guessing Hovley's not our guy. <laughs> He's betting 167. I, I really thought he was going to be somebody we could depend on. As Kelly gets his first hit to go with a walk. And his two errors. Um, all right. Uh, what's his uh? What's his percentage to steal? Sixty-four. Not good enough. Here we go. 
Stanley a ground ball to short and the double play. We're going to the eighth inning. We may as well try to get one more out of Stevenson. Seven, eight, and nine do up. Doesn't make a difference. Infield single. Everybody can hit Stevenson. He's actually given up more hits in two innings than Mudcat did in the five. Here's Burt. Burt, Burt, Burt. Oh, another error by the shortstop. That's our fourth error. And they're going to pinch hit. They're bringing in Jose Morales. First and second. Nobody out. Four errors on the day. And, guys, it is only going to get worse. I, I can't even muster anger. It just isn't worthy of it. Monday, popping it up. Into shallow center field. And Gene Tennis, 2-2 two -two count, popping it up. This looks like an error. We strand two, go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Here is a pinch hitter for Stevenson. I think I'm going to put Danny Walton in there. He's, what is he, three for nine? Pinch, or three for ten now, pinch hitting? So, I mean, he deserves a shot. Here we go, Danny Walton leading off. Ground ball to third. Oh, it's Gil Blanco in there. And an error! Oh, the brutality. There's Gil Blanco for you if you need it. Four walks, two Ks, no fastball. Like, do people in this era, do they not have a fastball? Do they not call it a fastball? I mean, you can't tell. How can you be a major league pitcher, unless you're a knuckleballer, and not have a fastball? Gil Blanco walks Harper. First and second, nobody out for Rich Roll. And he walks. This would be a great time for Tommy Agee to get a home run. I could almost taste the grand slam. Maybe it, uh, maybe I'm thinking of Denny's grand slam breakfast. Oh, another error! Come on! This is total bullshit. I mean, it's so horrible. I can't even, can't even believe it. I mean, I just give me a base hit. I don't, I can't believe there's this many errors. The error rating in the settings is at 0%, like, you know, at average. And you can't tell me six errors in a game is average. Comebacker. Uh, they forced a run at home. <laughs> okay. So, everybody's safe on the bases as they get the force at the plate. It's 6-2. to two. Here's Mike Hegan. 219 hitter. One home run. He walks. That'll knock in a run. So, it's 6-3. to three. For Steve Hovley with one swing of the bat. And we have a lefty on the mound. So we're taking out Hovley. And we're going to bring in Wayne Comer. Comer doesn't have a home run. Doesn't really have power. But I think Comer might be our everyday center fielder. And Hovley will have to ride the pine. Here we go. One, two count. Ground ball up the middle. A run scores. As Comer beats out the double play. Double plays are just not happening in six stadium. Van Kelly. I might just pinch hit Ray Euler. No, I wouldn't do that. Uh, we don't really have any options here. We may as well let Kelly bat. He's as bad as anyone. Got three in this inning, though. Here we go. Van Kelly, 1-1 one, one count. And a line drive to short. And that'll do it. Let's bring in a reliever. 
Let's bring in John Morris. Um, simply because he's thrown the least amount of innings. He's my least favorite reliever. Uh, he's just not good. Seven walks, two strikeouts. Um, I've mentioned this before. I don't really like to do uh, send people up and send and bring uh, bring people up, send people down until one month of the season has passed, and that way you can kind of get a better flavor for whatever they're trying to uh, portray the player as. So I, I I know Morris is not good, but why not? Striking him out. There we go, John Morris, player of the game. One down. Here's Reggie. Oops. There we go. One, two count to Reggie. Pounds it into the dirt to short. I expect an error to pop up every time now. Two quick outs though for John Morris. One, two, three inning. No, he's good. Sal Bandle's going to drop it down the left field line to the wall for a double. Third double on the season. I knew it couldn't go that easily. Two outs. Danny Cater up. Cater, base hit. Seven to three. John Donaldson. Ground ball to second. Thought for just a minute Van Kelly would get the hat trick for errors. They do score one. We go to the bottom of the ninth. We're down three. You would look at this and you say, you're really down three runs. I mean... You know, it's just one loss, but it's how you lose in this game that really annoys me. Fred Stanley down to 200 batting average. Safe on an error. Seven errors between the two teams. It's like they didn't even bring their gloves. We're going to pinch hit. J-Mo. For our boy Gordy Lund. El Gordo. Which I believe means fat, right? In Spanish? Okay. Uh, I mean, he's not fat, obviously. Um, well, I mean, we have to just let him swing. It's not like we don't need four runs to win here. Oh, well, he walks. Okay, well. Uh, by the way, Gil Blanco, four walks in one inning of work. Three runs, all unearned. Of course, every run in this game has been unearned. Tommy Harper striking out the one time we need him to take a cut. He doesn't. Hey, they're going to bring in Rally Fingers. This is his rookie card. This 1970 card. Sands the Mustachio. Eighth game, he's 1-0 and this year. Has not given up a run. Nine innings pitched, ten strikeouts. Two saves, no blueies. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 40%. The fastball is at 86 rated. Uh, and then the slider just below average. Overall rated at 82, the 22-year-old righty rookie. It goes to arbitration in 1971. You can see how this team was built into a powerhouse with the names that are on this team already. Pretty impressive. Now, uh, Raleigh will face Rollins. First and second, one down. Flips it to center field for out number two. That will bring up Tommy Agee. There's no point in sending Stanley to third. We need a three-run home run right here from A.G. Two down here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Here's Tommy A.G. One-two count, and he strikes out looking. That's the ball game. A's win, seven to four. Will we ever win another ball game? It's simulating. Will there be a trade offer? There is a trade offer from the Washington Senators. They're offering us a French, a Holman, and a Dick Smith. Um, they want Mudcat. They want Jose Vidal. 
and they want Don Bosch. I don't any of those guys I'd be willing to part with. But let's just take a look and see what they have. To, well, Gary Holman, I don't. We that guy's useless. Uh, actually, these guys all seem useless. Let's take a look at um, Jim French. Jim French Stewart. Um, he's wow. He's got two home runs already. He's a catcher who bats lefty. That would give us a lefty-righty platoon, but he's not. Well, he's not doing well. He's batting 175. Not really a platoon if the one if the one side can't get it done. Um, Dick Smith. Oops. Left fielder. Oh, he's a hell. They sent him back to kindergarten. Triple A to single A. So, uh, so this is a no. There's nothing there that's going to help us. Let's take a look at the standings. A four-game losing streak. We're still in second place for what it's worth. Um, our batting average is down to 234. It's, yeah, I mean, we're not looking good here. Yankees are 13-5 and five now. Um, let's take a look at headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Oakland beats Seattle. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. We're Seattle. Sorry. Uh, Oakland beats Seattle. Leads now at two. Reggie went deep. Didn't even mention he had a home run. Chuck Dobson. Yeah, he pitched really well. Danny Cater had a couple of hits. Sal Bando. Everybody had a couple of hits. And a couple of errors. Nothing else. Let's take a look at transactions. Um, okay, we got we got some stuff going on here today. We got a trade, first and foremost. Dick McAuliffe goes from my Tigers to the San Francisco Giants. I'm a, I'm a Dick McAuliffe fan. You see here, pretty solid home run hitter. You could count on him for 20 home runs. You didn't get a lot of second basemen in the 60s that could hit you 20 home run. So, th I mean, that's, a, that's like a unicorn there. In return, the Tigers get Dave Rader, a minor league catcher. They've already got Bill Freeman, right? But this is like a catcher of the future. Not a very good arm. Um, that doesn't feel like a good trade. Potentially a good hitter. Then the killer, Harmon Killebrew, hit his 400th career home run. And his 401st, and he get... Two home runs in the same game. Look at his log. Yeah, he did. He had a double dong day. All right. And Camilo Pasquale is injured for seven days. A forearm fracture? And he's out there pitching? What the hell? Somebody talk to the senator's staff. Somebody's got to speak up for this guy. We've got to get an interpreter. If you have to, get him in there. Where's Pasquale from? Let's find out. Uh, whoops. He is from Cuba. Get somebody in there. Call him up from Miami. All right. That's crazy. Uh, let's take a look at the box score. Pilots lose 7 to 4. Player of the game. If you got an if you made an error, you are automatically disqualified from player of the game today. Take your time, by the way, loading up. All right. Player of the game, uh, Mike Hegan, because he had a hit and drove in a run, uh, and he walked. Uh, oh, he had double, so yeah, I guess that's good enough. He did not make an error. Everybody in the infield made an error, except for Hegan. Mudcat Grant, <laughs> he didn't even give up an earned run. Lowered his ERA down to 420. Jerry Stevenson and John Morris did not do their gerbs. Gil Blanco couldn't find the plate. Gave up three runs, all unearned. Raleigh used his fingers to get his third save. All right, uh, that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with game three of the three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great day.